Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. You'll get the actual elevation angle at the point dish screen. When you're programming the TV remote to the TV, a quick, easy way to do it is called the channel or code scan method. You take and you hold the TV mode button down till all the other three mode buttons light up. When you let up, the TV mode button will be flashing. Push the power button once to stop it from flashing then the channel up button repeatedly until the TV shuts off. Once the TV is shut off, you want to push the pound sign to lock that code in, and then the power button to see if the TV will turn back on. Now we're going to change the TV to channel 3, and we have the point dish screen on the television, which is exactly what we wanted to see. So now we've got to move the highlighter from cancel to peak angles. We're going to do that by pressing the channel up button on the remote. Once we're on peak angles, we're going to use the select button, the round button in the middle of the remote to select peak angles. When we're at peak angles, you can see that we have a place to enter our zip code. You can also see that we've got a place for azimuth angle, elevation angle, and skew. Right now, they're all non-applicable because we don't have our zip code in yet. We're going to move the white highlighter over to the zip code box. And now with the remote, we're going to type in the zip code. Once we have the zip code typed in, the highlighter moves back to cancel and we have our azimuth angle 164, elevation angle of 47, and the skew of 89. 89 is so close to 90 that you can leave it on 90 if you'd like, or if you're perfectionist, you can pull it that one degree to make it 89. Most important are the azimuth of 164 and the elevation of 47.